All right, welcome to another right, episode of another Play episode Gamecast. Of Play We're Game your hosts, Darren and Isaiah. Darren and Isaiah. Um, uh, we have we have jam packed week for you. Week like, for man, you. There's so like much, man, there's so much man, there's so much news that so happened, and the week isn't even the over week yet. Week isn't even over yet. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Introduce <laughs> <laughs> yourself. <laughs> uh, so, what's been going on with uh, you, Isaiah? Oh, like I was saying, you know, I was doing the trunk or treating thing. And uh, now we got candy all in the house and trying to limit these kids to eating so much candy. Oh my God, it's just crazy. You had that, well, that, that uh, candy from KFC or something? <laughs> KFC. Oh, churches? No. The <laughs> church, the Catholic church, no, the I, Christian I legit, church. I legit, okay. <laughs> I, I legitimately thought church is chicken. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I know. I know. But, um, That's kind of crazy, but no. Man, drunk or drunk, like fun. I wish I could do that. I'm too old. But um, yeah, I uh, is that it? Oh, there's an echo. Uh, I think it's from the past. It it was a go. It was it was a a while ago when I had my phone on. Oh, okay. You heard me, Darian? Yeah. Yeah, because you remember I was trying to listen to you, so I had to turn on my sound, and it echoed your voice. So that was uh yeah highlight of your week. Oh yeah, dude, definitely. We went to like four, three different ones, and it just took up the whole day. <laughs> okay, man. Um, I guess um, my yes. week outside of just working, um, you know, still trying to set up the podcast, the uh, YouTube channel, um, the Twitter, everything else, trying to get all that going, trying to figure out production side of things. Still, as you can clearly see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're still having you know issues here and there, but we're getting them ironed out. We're we're gonna produce some great content for you, definitely. Um, so yeah, I guess let's start yeah, get into it. All right. So last episode we talked about, we talked about how, PlayStation how PlayStation was, was listening to your messages to your or something message. like that. They yeah, sent yeah. Out a, a letter, not a letter, but um, on their website. Let me pull it. If I can pull it up. Yeah, they have they have more details have, have more about details the voice chat functionality the voice on, their blog. on their blog. And there's a paragraph, there's a here, paragraph that reads... here that reads. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. So once the so PS5 once the console PS5 launches, console if, launches if, a play, if a PS5 player, player needs to follow a harassment report, report, they will be able to <laughs> include up to a 40 second long voice second chat long clip voice in their chat in their report. report. Excuse me, 20 seconds 20 of the main conversation, the main conversation with, the with the other player, plus an additional, plus 10, an additional 10, seconds 10 seconds before and after the, and after the conversation selection. selection. Only the most recent the most five recent minutes of a voice chat will be available for a player to use for the supporting function. So it's not Sony, well, it's not Sony like watching like you watching or listening you or whatever. It's m- mainly for harassment. Mainly for, but again, like I said again, last like week, said last, if the if person's in your the chat, in your chat they're, most they're most likely a friend. You would run into that issue in, that in like a game like, chat, like Call of Duty or you know something, something with a public chat. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't dislike the idea. I mean, I guess they're just trying to, you know, I'm telling you that talk, yeah, the toxicness. Sometimes you can get with someone, you know, if you, yeah. if you, if it really makes you feel uncomfortable, I, you know, you have the option now compared to beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I so I, as toxic, oh, I, as, all toxic as all that was, or still is, um, not going to lie to you back when Modern Warfare 2, when I was, you know, 19 or something. Yeah. Was, those chats were fun. <laughs> Those chats were so <laughs> much fun. I, I know what you mean. Call of Duty then yeah. was insane. You know, a whole bunch of yo mama jokes. Yeah. But um, yeah, back. actually, Zigzag, Darren is going to be getting the PlayStation 5. Yeah, I'll be having, I'll be doing an unboxing on the YouTube channel, uh, which is Play Again. Um, yeah, pretty yeah. soon. The accessories are actually, are actually might be coming might tomorrow, be tomorrow, if not if on release day, on which is October 30th. October 30th. So I should have a video mm-hmm. up then, if not a day later. Again, still Again, figuring still out the production side of things, but uh, you'll know if you you know hit the notification bell or on our channel, and you'll you'll know right away when it's up. Mm-hmm. 
But um, yeah, your mama chokes. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm telling you, that's all Call of Duty was. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, they they it, they were enjoyable. But you know, nowadays people people really get hurt about yeah. you know things that are said, and there's so much you have to be careful about what you put out there. Social media is like way huge than it was back then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Man, you, you see our. Oh, I like how we both kind of have the same motif. The closer. Yeah. I, I just realized yeah. that. Closet. <laughs> now they know. The ceiling fan. All right. So. Um, I'm trying to remember what else. Yeah, Sony. Yeah, Sony. You know, touching on Sony again. They actually released um like five new pieces of information this like today like today mm-hmm. so they released their the new app that they're going to show on tv for the ps5 which you know it's like 30 31 seconds long um it's okay i, I did watch it it's, it's a video game ad. like you know they have like a lot of live action set pieces or whatever and then they show yeah the console like it's nothing too crazy it's not as yeah. crazy as the ps3 Remember the baby in that cube? Those, those, oh, those, yeah. Those, those artsy commercials? Like back mm-hmm. then? Back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I love the clothes. I like that. <laughs> I know. Did you read the Yo Mama joke? Well, no, that was a good one. Back. Let me see what <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty good. But, um. Copping that. Not really. <laughs> it's yours, man. Oh. So yeah, okay. Um, yeah, okay, um, yeah the uh, yeah, back on topic. Yeah, back on topic um, um, the, ad, the ad. They announced they No announced Man's Sky, Man's Sky was getting a PS5 update, PS5 update with like 32 with player, like multiplayer. Player. And, um, wow. I believe they said. Let me double check. I want to say ray tracing, but I could be wrong. But yeah, the 35 oh, yeah, the player 35 multiplayer player. thing. That. That. That sounds insane. That sounds Honestly, insane. wonder what it's going to be. Wonder what it's going to be. Yeah. Because before it was just co-op, it wasn't like you know versus or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I mm-hmm. you know, I'm not too knowledgeable on uh no man's sky. No man's sky. I saw the um the speed run yeah. for it, oh, which was uh what, you don't, yeah. You're not to finish that game? What? Finish that game. Yeah. Oh, is it no man's sky that I'm thinking of? Oh no no no, I'm thinking of Outer Worlds. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Outer World. Okay. No Man's Sky, no Man's Sky is the one where the yeah, the one that generates the world. Yes. Um and like open. Yeah. It's supposed to be different everywhere. The yeah, chances of you discovering another planet someone else discovered is like rare, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, okay. Um, okay. That game, I played it at launch. Like I had it. I spent like 80 bucks on that game. Because I wanted that comic that was supposed to, you know, like be exclusive towards that edition, mm-hmm. and um, I'll, I'll that that was my moment where I was like, I'll never pay full price for a game again, never. Yeah. That and Division, I had that moment twice. Dang. So I, yeah, I know. Division was great, but, but you know, it's, I just got sick of the grind, I guess. But No Man's Sky <laughs> well, it wasn't my kind of game. It was more resource management, and. I would need like a I mouse and keyboard to like really put that game effectively because using a controller with that system back then, I don't know how it is now, but back then, yeah, no, I was just, just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Well, mm, Say again. I, well, you know how you know how I am. I, I try not to spend a lot of money on games anyway. I try yeah. my best to uh, keep a keep the price down as much as I can. But you know, he actually asked a question. Zigzag asked a question. Um, that kind of moves into like, no, 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 it's fine. It kind of moves into the next next topic I wanted to talk about anyway. Or do you plan on getting the digital version or the one with the CD drive? For what, what PS5? Uh huh. Oh, that's already pre-ordered, baby. Pre-ordered, I got the uh, the uh, the full the, fat, the, full the PS5. PS5, the PS5, the, PS5, the, the, the one with the disc drive. I know, right? I you know movies. how that thing is huge. That thing is huge. I'm gonna play those movies still. Yeah. That, that thing is huge, Darian. Yeah, I saw the. There's that, a lot that, of unboxing videos. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm just saying it's huge. I, like I saw those unboxing videos too. Gigantic. It wasn't as big as I initially thought, though. I will say that. But it is taller than the Series X. 
But yeah. Well, the reason why I brought it up is because, you know, it's big. Xbox recently showed off their big console, too, yeah. as well. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's not an actual console. You know what it is, right? A tower? You didn't get to... You didn't see the video? Oh, the refrigerator. Yeah, I did see that. Oh, the I did see that. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That giant Xbox refrigerator. I was like, why? Why? You think why? when they open it, it actually makes that sound? That would be hilarious. The, you saw the ad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Someone, there was a YouTuber, I think I Justine, she has a video up where she actually has it. And I'm. I'm almost positive. I didn't watch the entire thing or it at all. I just saw the thumbnail. Yeah. I think it's a working fridge. <laughs> no, it definitely is. Dude, it's 100% a working fridge. Yeah. You know, Xbox, they come out with products yeah. that aren't really gaming related, but still work and make it about themselves. And I watch videos on it a whole bunch, and it's hilarious. Yeah, that was the meme, too, though. Like, they, they really uh, dug into that meme from mm -hmm. uh, had the first kind of press conference about it where everybody was yeah and then there were like memes up of the refrigerator in one of the backgrounds was the series x which was pretty funny pretty funny yeah you think you think sony's gonna have a wi-fi router now no, if they did i'd probably buy it <laughs> i probably no, I'd i know know. at least it at least it's still like somewhat relatable yeah you know to the actual system guys the PS5. Oh. <laughs> That'd be a good joke mm -hmm. gift. That'd be a really good joke, really gift. Good joke gift this coming Christmas. Coming Christmas. That's true. Yeah, you know, white, white, white elephant is coming up. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is coming up. That is coming up. That'd be perfect. Oh my gosh, my eyes red. Yeah, we you need some sleep. No, I don't know why. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's only white. Gosh, like my yeah color is off. Um, did we hear about the rumored Nintendo Switch Pro? Yes, yes I, did. I did. So part of me so thinks that it's not a rumor not because a of all the different sources the that, we're getting. that we're getting. Um, whether um, they call it the Pro or not, it remains to be seen. But I do think that they're going to come out with something a bit more powerful with a, you know, a better CPU, maybe more, a better GPU if they want to push 4K. Because that's rumored too, that 4K. If that happens, if that happens, definitely trading in my Switch. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Of Could course, dude. They released that with Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I got the Switch in the first place. Yeah. 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 Breath of the Wild was a pretty good game. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, like somewhere. Keep going. No, keep going. Oh, I was going to say somewhere out there in the world. There is a picture of how I was when Breath of the Wild came out, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a mess. I was uh upside down. Yeah, there's a picture somewhere, somewhere out there in the world. Yeah, I know. My friend made it into like a, a weird meme too. All right, bro. See you later. Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah. Have, have you <laughs> and I'm I'm like upside down on my futon yeah. playing yeah. my uh playing the game, but like I'm yeah. bundled up with a whole bunch of cover. So, you know, it just looks like I'm like a caterpillar upside down That's playing cool. Breath of the Wild at the same time. Yeah, it's insane. But um, I know what you're about to I know what you're about to bring up. And yeah, I wanted to get on that, too. Dude, yes, yes it, it is. is really that good. Play. If you have a switch, it's just a game every switch game owner should have. Like, it's, it's really that good. The discoverability in that game, where you're just walking around, you don't know where anything is, and you just stumble upon it, that they can't, like, no one can take that away from that game. Especially if you're, like, going into a blind and not looking at reviews or or any walkthroughs or anything else like that. Just finding all that out on your own that's in the world, nothing else like it. Actually, like, I haven't played it in a really long time, so, like, the I exactly like the idea the thought of going back and playing it again it feels like it looks it feels like it's so refreshing yeah because i don't remember everything anymore yeah yeah so um, so, um speaking of zelda speaking we of will zelda, get back to that playstation topic, topic by the way topic, sorry the way, we're going sorry. off on this tangent but speaking of but breath, speaking of, the wild, of breath of the wild they actually did they actually release did. a hyrule warriors uh, 2 demo did. today and i'm currently and I'm downloading currently it right now, it right now. I can't wait <laughs> currently yeah currently yeah. downloading mine's is done yeah it's done right right there as soon as this is over 
see. Just saying. Oh, my Mario popped up. <laughs> no, it stopped. Why did it stop? Look at him. Okay. <laughs> it stopped. Okay, we're good. No, we're at 43%. We're good. We're counting oh, down. okay. We're counting down. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm I'm actually excited about the demo. Um, just because I'm excited about the game, yeah. they um they're gonna have that you know that dual um co-op, and you know I love playing games with Jenny. Yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna see if I can convince her to play it with me tonight or something. Okay, of course, yeah, definitely. <laughs> if the demo has it, because this is supposed to be the first chapter right. of the game. That's right. Yeah. This is be. supposed to be the first chapter of the game. So when the game actually comes out, your progress will carry on. Think that's something you might want to stream later tonight maybe i i know right i i thought about it i i you know actually if i go on to twitch right now yeah. will they have the setting for it you know yeah the browser they might it comes out in like, what a, a month yeah less than uh, a almost less than a month yeah now. if not yeah. a month yeah no no you're right it's like 22 days yeah less than a month exactly let's um they probably might have it for the demo yeah, they probably would. You're right. Or if not, then people are probably putting it under um just regular Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's true. Or their regular Hyrule yep. Warriors. I do not see it. Hyrule. Hey. Yeah, there is regular Hyrule Warriors I could do. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. 65 viewers. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and I see people putting it under the Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. All right, that's fine. I can choose whichever one. That's actually something I might do. You're right. Hey, I'm not giving up money moves, man. Money moves. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So yeah. we covered. Oh, the app, the PlayStation app. That's new. App, they, yeah. So it's so, not the same app. The app should, the actually the update app. should the be app, live today. They said it was going to be live today. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Hang on, guys. There's some dogs in the background. All right, they're they're they're, they're cool now. They're cool. Um. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good so, yeah, uh, There was supposed to be supposed an update to be today an update for, today it, for it, and, and they completely they redesigned, completely the, redesigned app, the app. And um, voice chat. They added voice, voice chat, chat to the app. Voice chat to the app. They added. They added so now you can just join parties from the app. It's basically the app. It's, its own it's Discord. Discord. Like like really, that's like the best way I can explain it. Its own Discord. Yeah. That and um, they also added. Oh man, where is it? Messages integration, updated user oh, okay. interface, voice chat, party groups, natively integrated in PlayStation Store and remote downloads. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it sounds like this app is going to be the the lick. Yeah, yeah. So instead of. <laughs> How the app currently the works, app currently or pre-update, pre it was, um, it was, you can go to the PS store, but it would take you to the web store through the app. Yeah. Now it's just picked now through the app. That's what it sounds like, native like. integrated. Yeah. Then be able to start the remote downloads. And then you get all the blog content, too. So, yeah, that's a win-win. I can't wait to download it or see if they update it. I know. Because I use the app now. I use the app now. Yeah, that means they're gonna yeah, get rid of the they're messaging. Gonna get rid of the message. They're gonna have the messages in the regular app. And yep, yep. And which is what I I wish they did the first time because I was like, that's annoying. This actually is <laughs> the annoying. first app that they've had. They had a PlayStation app that was available only in the UK, and you could mm -hmm. you could get the APK if you knew what you were doing. But this is the third iteration of it, I would say. Mm. So yeah, they've been um. Uh, chat's saying there's an echo. Oh, yeah, they just did. Give me a second. There's an echo on your end, not my. Hmm. I wonder what hears it. Hold on. I'm turning down my Discord again. Say something. Something. Okay, I'm just making sure I can hear you. Yeah. Make sure my mic. Yeah, there's a slight echo. I don't know how loud it is. Or yeah, I don't have anything else plugged in. Just the mic and the uh, the US the camera. Yeah, and you still have me muted on Discord, right? I do. Yes. Let's double check. You should. Let's double check. Yeah. No, I don't.
Yeah, you are muted on Discord. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, because I'm like, I have myself muted as well, just in case. Okay. So, yeah, it should be good now. Should be good. Yeah, if it's not too low, I, I guess we can keep going. Okay. Um. So yeah, back to the podcast. Um. Uh. So what was it? We talked about the app. The. The first free game on Plus is gonna be Bug Snacks. Yeah, yeah. I I can't. I want to see what that game is. I can't wait. That that theme song was catchy. You know it was good. It's, you know it's on Spotify right now. You know it's on your Spotify. That, is it really on Spotify? It probably is. It probably is. I, I hope not. It probably is. I cannot with that game. Man, I, I dude, that, that that was crazy. When I saw that, when playstation freaking showed that on their showcase i was so upset with them i was like so it's nothing they haven't done before like they've done artsy fartsy games like look at concrete jungle and like in the past look at journey you know back in their ps3 days like pixel jung eden they've 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 done games that were kind of different and out there this is no different this is to me this is them returning to their more or less roots so I, 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 yeah, I, I want to check it out. I want to check it out. I don't know. I, I mean, I use that game as a joke when I tell people. <laughs> yeah. To, yeah. I want to push the console's power and get bug snacks. Like, if you want to see what this machine is really capable of, get bug exactly. snacks. Exactly. Get bug snacks. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's It'll have cool. everything you need. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it does come pre-installed with Astro's Playroom, which that actually looks pretty fun. I want to check that out. Mm. It's supposed to showcase all the features of the controller. So I like the touchpad and all that. Yeah. um, Okay, let's see what else we have. What other news? Well, I mean, since we're on topic of uh, games for the PlayStation 4, we can go on games that are for the next-gen system anyway. The main one, the big game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, PlayStation 5. But the main game for all systems that everyone has been waiting for. Assassin's Creed? Well, I mean, no. <laughs> I think that's just for PlayStation 5 over there. Assassin's Creed. Uh, Can't Cyberpunk? You. No. Yes. Your favorite game. <laughs> my favorite? I haven't played it yet. I don't know. If it could be my worst game. You never know. I know. Dude, I told you. I, I called it. Yeah. I think it was in podcast. I think it was in podcast number two. Yeah. Where I said it's gonna get delayed again. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it went gold. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's not it would it would never happen because clearly it did, but I I'd never yeah. seen it or remember it happening. But yeah, it got delayed twenty one days. Now it comes the new release date is December tenth. So mm-hmm. hopefully we'll see you all there. <laughs> then oh sorry. But um, yeah, yeah. This I don't know. So what do you think? We make a bet whether it comes out this year at all. <laughs> whether it comes out this year, I know, right? Um, if if it does, if it comes out this year, we can do a um uh, another stream yeah. playing that game. Okay. But every death, maybe, or maybe every kill, we take a shot. Every kill. You know every kill or every death. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be death. It would have to be death. I know, right? Bro. Okay, we'll have to do death. I wouldn't I wouldn't survive. I, I literally wouldn't survive the first playthrough. I'd be dead on stream. No. <laughs> no. We can. We just, it'll be something small. Okay, maybe just a, a sip no, of whatever it is. We wouldn't, how will we even keep count of that? They have counters. They have counters for death. Oh, like kills or whatever? Like in the stats? No, no, no. No, no. We don't have to do kills. We can do deaths. Okay, but... so I thought you meant... Okay, yeah. Deaths are easier to keep track of than kills. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, no. I knew I knew kills would be overkill. I swear, I swear you said kills. Well, you did say kills. I did. I did. I was just joking, though. I knew that would be overkill. Okay, okay. Yeah, deaths. Every death, we take a shot. Man. Or a sip. Of whatever we're drinking. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Are you still going to be in town December 10th? 
Yeah, I will. Until uh, January something. Really? Okay. Oh, good. Oh, great. We get to play uh, Little Big Planet together. Mm. I did get another controller. That's a four-player game. I might have to get two more. But I kind of don't want to get two more because I know they're going to come out with more colors. So I don't want to yeah. waste the number of controllers that I have early. I already got a mm -hmm. one. You know? So... I do want to, I, want, I want that black or the two tone other like kind of color combination you're gonna come out with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, definitely. Man, so I think there was mm. one. I, I don't know. I'm missing something. I feel like I'm. Missing. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, I no, can go no, for no, you. No, like uh. I mean, for like the five things that came out that got announced. One, two, three, four. Just no, destruction, all stars. I got everything. That, that wasn't one of the five things, but we can definitely talk about that. So, Destruction All-Stars, mm. former, former launch title of um, PS, uh, PS5, is getting pushed to February. But, it'll be free on Plus for two months when it comes out. How does that sound? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds I like that. Sounds you know me. Free yeah. stuff. Free stuff sounds like the best stuff. <laughs> Sounds like it's not gonna get uh, uh, arrived DOA, you know, like all the. So this is one of those launches where you have big names coming out. You got Assassin's Creed, that's an established franchise. You know, you got your sports titles. You have um, even your your uh, your last gen, you know, kind of blowout like last hurrah type games like uh, Cyberpunk, because that's technically yeah. last gen. Technically last gen. PS5 and Series X versions are coming, but they're not coming this year. Oh, the the current gen version might not come this year. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that game was as a multiplayer only sh like kind of game that was full priced. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't see that lasting. Like it's better that it comes out later. Like February, when people you know are still hungry for new games on their on their next gen system, and you know it's free to try or free to play or, or not free to play but free uh, on plus for two months. I think that game has a better it's got a better chance now. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. So I mean, like a lot of these um gaming companies are coming out with really unique ways to market their like game. Yeah. Where I find it very interesting to get a lot of consumers a part of the hype, yeah, you know, which which sucks that sometimes it is just the hype and it'll go away yeah. pretty fast. But um, it's better than just coming out and no one talking about it at all. I think that's more scary for anybody who puts out content, you know, yeah. when you put it out and then you don't hear anything about it. So I think the only people that really kind of had that game pre-ordered was like people who had to those GameStop bundles because I saw pictures of those GameStop bundles and Destruction also yeah. one of the games. I think they were probably the only ones looking forward to that <laughs> game because they had to buy it, you know? See, yeah. <laughs> and like honestly, I wasn't, I was interested to see what it was, but I wasn't dropping seventy on that game. I wasn't. Like I'm not. Yeah. Especially at launch, when there's other things that I can play, like I'd I'd rather have bought Valhalla, you know. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that's on that that's on my oh. It's on your that one. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So on, I I think that was a that was definitely a money move, on Sony's part. Me. Yeah. What's up? Cross these out. No, nothing. I had them listed. And I'm just crossing things out real quick. Okay. Oh, let's see here. And I guess switching things over to Xbox for a bit. Xbox. Just or before you do that, because we're still on Sony. Oh, we before okay. we before we do that, you're still on Sony. You want to talk about Travis Scott's partner with them? Oh yeah, Travis Scott, famous mm -hmm. rapper. <laughs> He's um Sony and uh I guess Cactus Jack like his brand they announced a partnership uh a creative was it creative strategic business partner or something like that uh, yeah is that what they called it Let me check my history I think so yeah yeah 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, Sony does a lot of unique things. I yeah. think with like other content creators, like artists and things like that, because this is he's not like the first artist that they've got underneath their ring. Yeah. Um. There's actually one smaller one, I think it, there with Sony. That I used to watch. His name is Devon Terrell, I think. No, I think he's with Pepsi. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. These are small people that I like to listen to because, uh, you know, when they when they get bigger, I like to be like, yeah, I listen to that person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like you were you were there day one. one yeah. Like I was there day one, but they'll never know because you know I, I'm not I'm not a hardcore fan of like that. Spotify told me I was day one for uh, Joyner Lucas because before he. That's funny. Up, yeah, because I, I I liked his first album back when he wrote um, what, what's the name of that song Ross Capriani or Capri something like that. About him yeah, getting beaten up, or him telling a story from two different sides. Oh, I love stuff like that. Yeah, like it's basically uh, he um, it's it's both sides of like kind of more or less not gang violence, but like it seems like gang initiation. Mm -hmm. Like the side of the the victim and the side of the person looking to get into the gang. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty good. It's a good song. So it's, it's it's a little on the long side, like seven, six, six or seven minutes. It was a really good song though. Mm. Definitely hey, it's common, you song. know. Yeah. For some of those older songs, like uh, even Eminem has some that long. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I just I like it. I like the collaboration Sony does, you know, yeah, with I'll, other I'll, creators. I want to see what comes out of this. Like, I just like what? Like another game? Like a, a unique game? Or is he just gonna give them like? Like perspectives, clout. Like yeah, that too. Yeah. You know, like, like there's a lot that could that they could do with that partnership. Actually, I'm I'm that. telling you, he's probably gonna it. What Sony's probably gonna do is that they have their original system. Yeah. And then they're gonna have the Spider-Man system. Later. And then they're gonna have their Travis Scott system. <laughs> yeah, with the Cactus Jack logo on it, like a black. Yeah, character. and probably his his uh initials, like his signature. Yep. So if they really want that system to sell, then they need to, instead of just the face plates, which are removable, by the way, mm -hmm. they should probably get that centerpiece design to like the actual console, like the black in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. That would make it, I don't know, it seemed, that would make it more exclusive because you could just buy or you could uh, buy like the face plates off somebody willing to sell them. And then, hey, you're going to try to yeah. spot. But no, if you have that middle piece like customized or whatever, a like, different color or, or the signature, something, something, then you, you'll know. You, you'll know. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of from the chat too. Not the chat, but the uh, Snapchat. My phone. Yeah, yeah, it was like Snapchat. <laughs> I had to put it down. Yeah. Um, but um yeah, that was, that yeah was, no i i agree i want to see what comes out of it yeah good on sony like i find it interesting they are they're with the hype right now he just had a burger now he has a system <laughs> a combo meal <laughs> like come on oh well, he had a Fortnite. he had, he had a Fortnite too oh yeah he had the concert in Fortnite. Yeah. you're so right dang that was a really, and that they that? said that one was really good have you ever seen it I've seen it. Like I've seen some oh, clips of it. I haven't watched the whole thing. I watched the entire thing. So yeah. I watched it live on the second or third night with Janet. Yeah. It was pretty good. It's kind of, it's kind of disappointing though. Like I thought the concerts they had after him, yeah, they were going to have like in the same manner, but they weren't. I think compared to the Travis Scott, that was the best one. Which one? The ones that they've been having recently. <laughs> Yeah, the ones they had recently. Oh, so the marshmallow concert and this one, those were more um I guess what's what I'm looking for. They were more of an experience. The ones that they've been having, they've kind of just more or less threw together. Like they just have like, yeah. a screen or whatever playing mm -hmm. things for you to interact with around in the arena. But, um, and that's it. Yeah, it's not like they turn in gravity off, like in the marshmallow one, having everybody fly around. That was man, mm -hmm. the marshmallow one. I know it was the first one, but that was that. That's a little underrated. That was a good playlist. That was a really good playlist. Like for what it was, like the first time doing something like that, it wasn't mm -hmm. 
But yeah, Travis Scott blew out of the water. I'm not gonna lie. Travis Scott did well in the water. That's <laughs> um, true. Yeah. That's funny. Man, oh, okay. Well, now we can move on to Xbox well, though, because I know. Take a break. Oh, yeah. You sure can. Yeah. That's what we need a break screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Instead of just saying, now we're back. And now we're back. Now we're back. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, switching things over to the Microsoft side, Xbox. So, Microsoft actually just had a 14-minute long video um, displaying the kind of having like a more or less a console blowout of the user interface and the uh, yeah just the console in general. It was like a few days ago. Like it's like 14 minutes long. It's it's a pretty good watch. Like they talk about how the user interface works. Sorry, camera. Yeah, they talk about how the user interface works. They talk about um, the way the hard drive, not the hard drive, the solid state drive, how the uh, the quick resume, the quick resume function uses the solid state drive to kind of just, like, you know how the switch works, Isaiah? Or Yeah. 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 It's kind of like that, like where that. you put the console in rest mode or sleep mode or whatever, and then you wake it back up and it's just, it just wakes up on the screen, ready to go. Like, it's that quick. And you can like store up to, I want to say they said like four games like that in Quick Resume where you can just kind of jump in and out, like more or less hot swapping, but faster than a disc. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Zigag? What's this on I, I like, I do like that. I do like that. Okay. Yeah. That, that looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Sony will have an equivalent to that. I want to say they've talked about it, but they haven't officially said anything about it. Because I want to say they talked about it during that initial Mark Cerny hardware deep dive when they talked about what, what they could do with it. But, um, yeah, I think the current-gen consoles have that now where you can just resume your games. But it, it's nothing like how Xbox is right now with the solid-state drive. And it's just it's just so fast. Like, even on the Series S, it's just so fast to just resume a game like that. Um, that yeah. faster loading times you have um, you're able to use 4k with uh, 120 uh, frames per second or uh, what 120 Hertz up to well, up to 120 yeah, Hertz up to with uh, using HDMI 2.1 which that mm. is technology not a lot of TVs and monitors have that yet I know and I was just trying to watch a video on finding out which ones do oh, it's expensive <laughs> yeah it's, it's mm. not it's gonna it's a pretty penny I'm not gonna lie um, I think the cheapest one that can handle it is like 500. And how big is that screen though? Mm, I think it's a 45 inch. Okay. I think I just, I mean, I wasn't too into it cause you know, I, I'm not getting a system. Yeah. yeah I know what you mean. Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. That's true. Not yet. We'll definitely get you there though. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm part of that PC master race. Oh, that's right. MM2. Um, that's the game I've been playing, Super Mario Maker Two. Oh, Mario Maker Two. Okay. Yeah. I'm out of the loop. I don't. I don't play Mario Maker. Hey man, like, that I game Mario, is that. Like Mario Maker. Dude, that game is fun. Like yeah. the the kind of levels that people make are insane. I believe it. And um, maybe when I come by, you can try it on my Switch. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty enjoyable because you can also play with other people, and so they make different levels you know some for multiplayer some single player but some are like remakes of the old classic worlds yeah dude it's yeah it's hella fun yeah I'll check i enjoy it a lot I'll check, that, I'll check it out when you come by yeah um Ooh. yeah uh, so xbox it seems like they're doing some really interesting things but you know they got the game pass they're really bolstering their services they have, mm -hmm. they have exclusives now you can't say they don't have exclusives anymore they have exclusives now you know, it's uh, since they bought Bethesda. Which and I'm telling you, match made in heaven. So, I'm telling you, I freaking love Bethesda. And I know Sony has a lot of exclusives, but Bethesda is a big one to cap to capture. Definitely, it's gonna that's gonna switch some people over. I think, if not get a, unless they want to get a PC. Yeah. Yeah. If Sony did something like that. I would be like, man, Xbox, they're not going nowhere it's with their crazy exclusives. Year, man, and it's not over yet. We'll we'll see what happens. It's a crazy year. Yeah. Like it really it's a crazy year. <laughs> mm. 
man. But um, see, he yeah. thinks you should try it too. It's a good Star game. <laughs> uh, Mario Maker, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely check, mm -hmm. it out. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Man, what else was up with Microsoft today? This week, there was something with um, Series S games not running it. Yeah, there's a couple of games like, like um, not being able to handle stuff. At least not up to what Microsoft is saying, like the, the 1440s yeah. at 60 or 120 frames per second. Um, which, you know, granted, even on the Series X, not every game is going to be 120 frames per game. You know, it's up to the developer what they want their type yeah. of game. So that's why, you know, it says up to. But when you still have games running at 30 or below 1080, like, um, what game was that? Yakuza Like a Dragon that's coming out for, uh, that's like a that's last gen game. Ten, yeah. Current gen, last gen, um, for the Xbox One. The Xbox One. Really, it was, it was a game really, for that generation. that generation. When you have that running at 900 p and 30 frames, is that also 30 frames? I, I know it's definitely 900 p but I know it also hasn't been optimized yet either. But when you have something like that running that far below uh, 1440, you know, like what, what's going on? Is it optimization? Yeah. Is it is it still new tech, new hardware that uh, the developers haven't gotten, you know, the hang of yet? Because that, that's usually how it is too. The games don't really get like hit their stride until a couple of years later. That's when you start seeing like the real benefits of the hardware. It could be that, or it could just be a foresight into the future. You know, like Series S, you know, just not powerful enough to handle a lot of them. Or not, not powerful enough, but just going to handle them way under what Microsoft is talking about. It's possible. Oh, I'll scream for a second, man. I, Grab I think, something. Yeah, but I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. It's not okay. a Switch game, but it's good. I would say the best is Super Mario. Oh, mm, you sell zigzag. You say it's the best because you haven't played Legend of Zelda yet. <laughs> I was just about to bring that up. <laughs> hey, Breath of the but, Wild's good, but it also depends on your taste too. So, what are you gonna? That's true. He might be a Mario lover, which yeah. I don't blame him. And that game, have you played Mario Odyssey? Yeah, I, yeah, I had it. Oh, so you had it? Yeah, okay, so you know, I've never played it. What? 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 Yeah, I've never played it. <laughs> oh, we got some content. <laughs> We've got some content. So, yeah, that that's what I was that's what I was um telling him today. I was like, you know, I've never played it. He said I must. It's a it's a must. Yeah, that is a so, must. So, I was thinking about in your opinion, Odyssey compared to Breath of the Wild cuz I know you used to play the old Mario games too. It's Mario back in the day. The Wild. Like it's Mario's Breath of the Wild. That's honestly that's Basically, true. right? Like it's to me, Odyssey did to Mario what Breath of the Wild did for Link and the Zelda, Zelda franchise. That's the best way I can put it. So, like you said, it's basically depending on which one you fancy more, Link or Mario, Yeah. which one you think is the best one. Because both of them look like they're really good games in the same kind of um, format. Yeah. Yeah. It's... it's that you know open sandbox mario that we've all been missing after the uh the world series and the and the galaxy games it's definitely mm -hmm. more open like you you get a star or a moon or i forgot what i think it's a moon in odyssey and the level doesn't end and the other games the yeah. level ended there was a point a point b like in 3d land and 3d world but in um and same with uh with the galaxy games you could honestly argue those weren't as open they were definitely more I would, say I would say they were a bit more open than the late, than the 3D World games, but mm -hmm. there was also still a point A and point B for Galaxy games as well, because you get the star and it kicks you out of the level, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, see, someone agrees with me. He says he says he's a Mario fan, so it it, it might change his it might not change his mind. But okay. I'm not gonna tell you it's it's an A one game. Um, yeah, they're both good. They're, I wasn't they're even both good though. Yeah, they're both really good. But I wasn't even gonna pick up the Switch. But when I played that game, I was like, oh, I need to, I need it. 
yeah. just for that game, like, like just for that. I spent like eighty hours before I beat that game. It was eighty hours. Eighty? See, I think I focused on just beating it. Okay. But I still spent I like over a hundred hours. I, I did too. Yeah, because you get lost in that. Yeah. World. You, can actually you do beat that game from the very beginning. Yeah, yeah you yeah. actually can if if you're. Good enough. Yeah, if you're good enough, you can like run straight to Ganon and uh, take him on. You're gonna be fighting all the bosses though, since he didn't do any of the temples. But you know, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. You can do it. So, there's also what is it? Ways I've tried Odyssey. to. Huh? I've tried to watch watch some people do that, but I just can't. Yeah. I can't see him die that many times. Well, you gotta watch the one the one perfect run. You just gotta watch the one perfect run. You don't have to watch them all die. That's true. It's true. It's because I, I watch their, you know, full stream. I'm just like, mm, I can't. I can't sit here. Mm. But back on the back on the um, Xbox, though, back on the Xbox. So, yeah, I see what you're saying with the Series S. That's crazy. We we have to wait and see when it actually comes out. I mean, one thing I love about new things coming out is that there'll be so much hype about it. Yeah. Um, before release and then release comes out and then people are like, oh, they lied about this or this happened. Yeah. I think for all games. Oh, man, that's a good question now. Gosh, I wanted to go back to the Xbox. That's such a good question. Mm, I hope so. Let me put it that way. Wait, what is he asking? He's asking if uh, open world is going to be the new thing for all games no, like so. is this the style of gaming that people are going to enjoy no. you don't think so no. well, he's still, well okay so i did hear a rumor that um there's going to be a free-to-play open world call of duty next year so i did hear that but the, with that being said see i i don't think so because I... there are definitely there's definitely still an audience out there for the more streamlined experience level based for your uncharted for your last of us is you know for for your god of wars but even that's a little open but it's still not as but, open as like something like like assassin's creed odyssey you know it's not or far cry or whatever i i don't okay there's, i because there's indie games too i don't not everybody has okay indie design, games indie games i can understand okay but <laughs> those other ones you named i don't know i might have to disagree with you on that because i just you you named those games, and I just thought of an open world concept for them, and I'm like, damn, that sounds badass. An open world God of War, like we'll that's that's the on the cusp. We'll see what the next one has. That's on the cusp of of uh, Elder Scrolls Online, an open world God of War. Ah, you just you just salted the earth right there. No, I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm, I'm ready for something like that. No, man. Yeah, so. I, I can't do MMOs like that. I, I can't. Like I tried. You can't. I can't. The oh no no no! Not Elder Scrolls Online, but you know Bethesda. Oh, the okay. um. Okay, Elder Scrolls. Skyrim. There we go. Yeah, I just go to their most recent one. Yeah. Yeah yeah. But Skyrim. That's what I mean. Seventy fall seventy six. That's the most recent game. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Call of Duty. I don't know how they're gonna do that one. Open world. Uh, it even comes out. But we'll see. Yeah. But yeah. Um. I, I don't see that. There's that. There's there's too big. There's still too big of an audience for just games that aren't aren't that. Not to mention they take longer to make. Like for I'll give you an mm. example. That's already one that's already announced. Um, Hellblade two. Have you played the first Hellblade? That was a more. Mm -mm. That was, it wasn't. It was more or less a corridor type of game. It wasn't open world. I can tell you that. But um, I don't see the second one being open world. I could be wrong. Yeah. Who knows what they're gonna do with that hardware? But um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't see that. Dude, that would I hope so though. Time. That would take a bit of time. I hope so. Even the Final Fantasy that came out. I do remember the Minecraft days. I never, I never really got into Minecraft, but I remember when it first started getting like kind of big. Yeah. I thought it was exciting. Yeah. I, I thought it was crazy when people start making money from Minecraft. I was like, what? Yeah. Man, so um yeah, again, sorry, we keep going off on tangents. 
back to Xbox. Um, we'll get See, to- he, he, we'll, he we'll is get, coming up with just... you, Devil Gamer. I just want to finish this <laughs> Xbox thought. Um, so, in my head, you know, a, a guy, a gamer, whatever, that doesn't really know too much about computing power, in my mm-hmm. head, the Series S and X, they have the same CPU. The only difference is really the GPU and the clock speed by like 0.2 decimals uh, or the CPU. The, the only real difference is the GPU. To me, <clears throat> that shouldn't be enough to like kind of change that unless it is. Like it should still be able to handle those games, you know? Well, I know GPU. I do. Well, I know that GPU actually. Um, I mean, GPU actually does do a lot more than what we just presume it does, which yeah. is you know the graphics putting it out there because they actually have their own encoder encoder within them okay. that helps with processing information as well. Um, that's. I mean, to be more precise. It's like comparing NVIDIA, NVIDIA with um, Radeon, okay. AMD, okay. and um, their encoders are too different. You know, people prefer the NVIDIA encoder because it relieves so much stress off of your CPU to so that your CPU has more power to incorporate other things, right? right. While your GPU uses it for other things. So like... You know how we use OBS, right? Yes. That's actually one reason why I got the um, RTX card. Yeah. Is because it has its own encoder that completely takes off like a a crap ton of stress on OBS so that I can run multiple things on my computer while streaming, you you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that plays a really big part. Actually, I should tell Janet that too. She should switch to the NVENC encoder. I, I don't know if I ever mentioned that to her. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> so I don't know what kind of GPU they're using inside of their system. If like it has its own encoder or if it's intertwined with their CPU to work, to make things, um, the workload easier. Yeah. But that's the only, if literally the only difference is the GPU, then I can understand how that can play a part in some of these graphic heavy games. Okay. I just, yeah. I just hope they didn't uh, undersell it. I know. Because that, that would suck. Good idea. It is a good idea. The Series S console is a great idea. Like, it's so good of an idea, I would consider getting it. Like, if I didn't want to spend, like, a thousand or whatever on a, on a PC, a pre built, whether built or not, like, pre built or not, the Series S, if you already have a PS5, it could basically be your, like, your, your other Switch, you know? Your cheaper. Console. Yeah. That you can play Microsoft exclusives on. Zigzag. I'm not an Xbox lover. I'm a lover of games. <laughs> you had to tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to. It's all. That's too funny. One console. It's all one console. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, man, I just play good games. I go where the games are. Um, and right now, Xbox has. They have the games. Let me exit that out. Did you want to talk about what Devil Gamer said? What do you say? What do you say? Yeah, what do you say? <laughs> With the rise on graphics and gaming taking over, do you think that cutscenes are going to be more prevalent, prevalent. rather than actual gameplay? No. It, well, it depends on what kind of game you're going after. Because you got to look. There's games like Beyond Two Souls. Um, the uh, crap. What was that game with the origami killer in it? Heavy Rain. There's games that are built like that. Mm-hmm. For I guess story reasons, but if you're playing a game, you're playing a game. You're not watching a movie. There's no, there's not unless it depends on what kind of game it is, like the one they just mentioned. Like you're not, you're not um more concerned over the cutscenes than the gameplay. Yeah. I think. Um, yes, we both do have a switch. Okay. Oh, okay. I was just going to type it. I was like, I'll just type in. But um, yeah. what I was going to say, yeah, 
I, I get where you're coming from. Um, there's a lot of story games out there yeah. where the story is a big part of it. And if they use that, the cut scene to, to progress the story and also load the next area, I don't care. <laughs> That's fine with me. Like, if it's happening in the background and I'm being entertained with something else, I'm okay with that, you know? Um, but there's games, like you said, like Ratchet and Clank, yeah. you know, yeah. where they want to get rid of those cutscenes, you know, as, as best as they can. When you move to another area, they don't want you to have to see a loading screen. Yeah. And I, I, I think what, well, what I read from what he said is that, you know, some of these cutscenes are for going into other areas. You know, yeah. You know, like when you reach a cutscene to go somewhere else, yeah, or when you another, get to, yeah, yeah hidden, just loading up. Hidden loading screens, yeah. Exactly, basically, and I just, I just think some games are going to try their best to get rid of that completely, like that. as graphics gets better. Yeah, I think that can happen with these consoles, but that also depends on how far the developers want to push the graphics, like the fidelity of the games too. Because mm-hmm. if you think about it. Microsoft and Sony are saying, oh, games are going to be 4K60, you know, this generation. That only depends on how graphically intensive the game is. Because if they make them as, you know, if they push the art style or whatever as far as it can go, they'll right back to start at 30. Because if, yeah. if you think about it, if graphics hadn't changed from the PS3 era, or if we just kind of kept the same fidelity as the current gen, or last yeah. year or whatever, PS4 era, uh, Xbox mm-hmm. era, Going forward, yeah, I can see most, if not all, games being 4K60 because we have the horsepower for it now. But most, most developers, from from what I've heard, most developers, you know, they're gonna want to push that art style. They're gonna want to push that failure. They're gonna see how far they can take it and still play it. You know? Yeah. I mean, I would too if I was in that if I was in that boat. But um, yeah, yeah that's my thought. Hmm. Makes sense. Mario Odyssey, one of the good ones. Smash, another good it one. Yeah, and not every game. It depends. I, I know not every game, yeah. but I think some of these are going to be very iconic. Um, Breath of the Wild, very iconic. I think will last. Actually, how long has it? Has, how long has it been since Breath of the Wild and Odyssey even came out already? Seventeen. They both come out the same. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. Right. So it's been a good three years, and people are still playing that no actually breath of the wild came out sooner than that no because it came out on the wii it was day and date 2017. oh same year 2017. Yeah. oh okay but yeah i'm like people are still talking about how great the game is yeah. and so just to go on a couple ahead i mean jump ahead in the future a little bit when we think of older games and we'll be the older generation we're going to remember those you know yeah. like we're the same people who played the new games back then who are playing them now because we thought how iconic they were and because we remembered them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's the it's the player that makes the game relevant in the future. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, I can see it that way. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to like think back to uh, the example that I kind of like. I'm kind of going to in my head, like like the first Super Mario Bros. Like thirty plus whatever years ago. Mm-hmm. If, the, if the people now weren't saying how good that game is, would I have found it on my own? I don't know. Which one? The first Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Well, there's mm-hmm. something like that. So it's, yeah. But then, know, yeah. were they were they people our age though? So when at the time super yeah now. no at the time when okay. you played yeah. the game back then yes. were they older people or the your same older, age people because my uncle actually gave me his NES and that was exactly that was my first console. and um, yeah that, that was my first console but um, yeah. see and that's why I'm saying it's like because even if the older people say it wasn't that good game back then it was the kids. Who were making their judgment they just didn't have a voice okay, back then yeah you know yeah it wasn't as prominent as it is now i mean a game comes out you're going to hear about it on social media instantly yeah you know 
freaking Among Us wasn't even that popular of a game when it first came out. But then a streamer, um, I forgot his name, made it very popular. And now you can't see a meme go online or type something without hearing about Among Us. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, I don't think it's going to be every game, but just very, very iconic ones. I think they will be enjoyed by future generations as well. Whether they like it as much as we do, that's totally different. Because yeah. <laughs> hopefully, you know, Elon Musk <laughs> makes us play games in our head and we can be transported into the Internet, you know? Uh, man. Ooh, oh, see? Oh, exactly oh, what I was talking about. Our online action? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but without the Years. Time without, without the time to I think next maybe twenty five years. Take over. Why? Why does I don't know about take over, but um, I give it another five or ten. Yeah. Oh, you give it five or ten? No, Man, I, when I, I say take over, I mean like becomes more than what it is now. I think. I, for takeover, I say like twenty to twenty-five. We're but if if yeah, exactly right. Because I'm thinking with VR to be more relevant to the current gaming systems, like be an actual competitor for them. I think, like you said, five, six, seven years. Yeah, you know, it'll definitely happen. VR is something that a lot of people are going to enjoy coming soon especially with this pandemic happening. <laughs> yeah. I'm like if if this stays like this for another year, I think people are going to invest. I think if we keep getting games like Half-Life Alex, people are going to invest. Uh, <laughs> man, that game, I I was so ready to pick one up yeah. just because of that game. Yeah. Man, so um well, I recently got 30 All-Stars. Oh, he got he got 30 All-Stars. Nice, yeah, they're yeah. Those Mario games are classic. Actually, speaking I, of 3D All Stars, Nintendo announced they're gonna release an update for inverted controls on like the 17th. So ooh. now I can play Sunshine correctly. Because <laughs> though no, have you do you know about Sunshine? Yeah, I know when about they the first game. First launched, the controls were inverted. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, to. yeah. That's what I'm used to. Actually, inverted controls are my first controls. Like, when I had a PS1, one of the first games I got was Top Gun. And it was a, you know, a flight game. So, yeah, they come standard. Like, the game will come standard if you can even change it. You know, up is down, down is up. And, you know, my my kid brain, I'm like, okay, makes sense to me. You know, and really, that's my, <laughs> that's my first control scheme. Or, yeah. Yeah. Inverted. It took me, it took Which is... duty to, to fix it. So, yeah. Uh, see, I don't know how my brain works, but for flight, I actually like inverted. Yeah, no, but it's great. for for people, I don't. Because I think of an actual plane and I know when they are trying to pull the plane up, they pull the stick down. Yeah. And I guess my brain is thinking about that. And I was like, oh, it makes sense. OK, I'm pulling the thing down. Yeah. That'll make my plane go up. And then I'm trying to go downwards, so I need to push it in, which is like upwards, and it'll go down. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly and uh, for me, the game, like the the flying game, me into that was a, uh, ooh, what's it called? Warhawk. Warhawk. Yes, yes, Warhawk. Yes. Yeah, Warhawk. Mm -hmm. Warhawk was great. Yeah, so that was game Warhawk. was underrated. Sequel, so, but yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know they had a sequel. I yeah. did not. Yeah, I think the the main character was like a black guy. They had a campaign. It was pretty good. Wow. It was pretty good. It had tower defense elements built into it. But it was still I, imagine Warhawk multiplayer, but with tower defense. Like don't that's change pretty the multiplayer too much, but add tower. Yeah. Defense. Like you could like you could like buy turrets and like defend against mm -hmm. the base or the enemy team coming at you. It was pretty great. Yeah. I enjoyed that. I like Starhawk more than Warhawk. I don't care who knows it. 
that's just wow. That's I'm, just my, I, I would have to try it. Man, Warhawk was a good game. That's it's so underrated. I was so sad when people start getting from online, Shut like down. they start going offline. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. No, my charger's not working for some reason. Let me see if it's plugged in. What shut down? My charger. Oh no, the the online for um for Warhawk. Like twenty eleven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh nine or yeah, 09, I, something like that. I was so sad about that because that game was really good. Um, just being able to the concept of it's open island, you know, kind of like Fortnite. Actually, damn. Oops, sorry. It was, I think it was similar to like an early example of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. What? Warhawk? Yeah. Where you can just get in a plane, get in a tank, get in a uh, RV, and just roll around, find the enemy, and get rid of them. More team, more like team on Fortnite, but Fortnite, it's it's iconic graphics and memes and dances is what really made it popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, PUBG. Yeah, PUBG. There yeah, you go. More like PUBG they then. Definitely made that game popular because of their hate towards yeah. it, basically. Mm hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my mic. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, dude. I, I can understand that. Um, it's just because we're old. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were saying our first systems were like the NES. Yeah, man. I was a kid. I was like a kid kid. Yeah. Yeah, and he was saying his first system was uh the DS. Oh, bro. Okay. That was like with the original Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Oh yeah, zigzag. Don't um. Don't hang on. Yeah, but there were many concerns. They were saying it was very minimal. Yeah, don't let other people yeah, let hinder your enjoyment of the game. If you like what you like, man. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Cause exactly. I, cause I'm playing Mario 3D All Stars and I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. It's fun. But yeah. The DS. That's pretty good. That, those were good games though that was a good system okay man so um you, you got a new phone didn't you oh yes i'm super excited about it yeah. if we're moving over to tech we don't have much to talk about it but yeah. my phone look at this oh you got the blue oh the blue's nice yeah the blue's nice i, I, I like the blue I, I, yeah i wanted something yeah. different because uh, usually I get the gray yeah, so of the white. The yeah, some different. Yeah, I, I just because I'm different. You need a clear case. You need a clear Coochie case. man. No, I'm just kidding. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need a clear case for sure. Um, there is just one thing that was irking me about it. What? How square it is. Man, and it was just on my mind. No, actually, I don't mind the squareness. That don't bother me so much. You can probably grip it better. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I like that it's it's more water still that way. But what, I don't like yeah. that my fingerprints stick to it so much. But with a case, that'll be fixed. I feel that. Yeah, that blue looks nice. So coming off the seven, you have the seven, right? Mm -hmm. Coming off the seven to the twelve, um, what uh, what do you like or or miss about the seven? What what features from the seven do you wish were in the twelve? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, a button. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny. It's actually really funny. I mean, I like, I like. There is no button because I have more screen, and it's like, man, my phone isn't really wasting any space. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm holding all of it, but nice. sometimes I put my finger there, and there's like, there's supposed to be something there. Like, bro. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you had the seven for so long. Yeah, and in, even that one, my button stopped working on the 7, but yeah. I still, like, would put my finger there because it's natural, you know? Like, had the yeah. groove and everything, but this is it's just completely flat, so I, I get confused sometimes. I'm like, how the hell do I get home? <laughs> That's funny. So, um, yeah, yeah. ZigZag Galaxy is Galaxy. actually the easiest game to uh, 100%, in my opinion. Also, now, if you 100% Galaxy, spoiler alert, let me know if you want that spoiler. Okay. While he replies yeah, to yeah. let you know if let he know wants if that spoiler, if he let, me, let, let me rant about something real quick. Okay. Yeah. So 
<sighs> Apple always doing things super, super like iconic, you know, getting ready for the future kind of yeah. stuff. They got rid of the headphone jack. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's okay. You know, I have a lot of Bluetooth headphones. It's I know that it's going to be very popular not to have wires dangling from your phone. So that's okay. Prepare for the future. Yep. But then this time they say we're not going to give you a brick for your phone, right? No. They'll give you a wire, but they're not, not they're not going to give you the brick part. You know what I mean by that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the wall yeah. adapter basically, right? Yeah, this one. Okay. Oh, right here. Okay. This is the one that they said are is out in the world so much. They have so many of these out in the world, you know, they want to help with recycling and not right produce there. more there, electrical right waste. You had it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So not produce electrical waste. Yeah. And I'm like, that makes sense. That's fine. You're right. A lot of if you like Apple, then you have a lot of these because I have a few in the house. Yeah. But then I get the box and it comes in and th this wire, you know, I'm like, OK, it should work better for the phone, right? So it should be faster. It no, should be charging yeah, that's faster. Not the spoiler. But yeah. Oh. So, yeah. And then I look at the wire. Tell me why this does not connect. Show me. What is it? Show <laughs> These me. These are not the same. Oh, they thought you might have the uh, the fast charger. So they have yes. a, they have an 18 or is it a 20 watt charger or something like that that charges from USB C to USB C or, or to lightning, right? Yes, That's lightning really to USB C, which pissed me off because yeah. this is the common one. This yeah, is, is the common one, not the freaking lightning one. I guess if you have a Mac, then yes. Yeah. You know, that's that's fine. That makes sense. Dude, I was heated. So <laughs> um, I was livid. I was like, I can't even use this wire. Why? Why even put it in the box? That is I just bought a 25 watt charger for like the Samsung official one. And that had USB-C. Like it wasn't even the regular chart. It was the USB-C one. No, 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 it came with a cord. Yeah, <laughs> I bought the charger and it, of course it came with a cord it's better. But um, yeah, that took me. I'm, I'm surprised Apple went that way. Like really? Because I know their new yeah. iPads, the new iPads actually use USB-C and not Lightning. So that makes me yeah. wonder, are they eventually, finally going to switch iPhone to USB-C instead of Lightning? Because if they really yeah. cared about the environment, they would ditch Lightning. They agree because Just they're saying. the only ones who use this. Yeah. And I, I agree with you sure, too. I'm pretty sure it's about money some way. But of course. Of course, they want you to buy that fast charger. They want you to buy that cord still. Yeah. Yeah, if they really cared about the environment, they would switch to USB-C. Because there's definitely more of those in the world than lightning cables. It hurt me. It hurt me, dude. I, yeah. I was like, that was the one thing that was irking me. Not even about the phone. It's not about the phone. It's just the company itself. Hey, you're still with them. I told you who the winning team is. Nah, dude, I'm telling you, this 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 is nice. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. And I can play my Genshin Impact on it, too, now. Oh, yo, yeah, yeah, you can play Genshin now, like, smooth. That's right. I sure can, dude. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. This is, this is where it's at. <laughs> it is. Oh, we did talk about the Xbox fridge. I forgot. Yeah, we did. You had but down. the camera's real nice. Yeah. Um, the camera's real nice. Uh, the phone's real nice. I like that it doesn't have a LCD uh, display. Yeah. Um, I was debating on going for this one or the Pro. Oh, and the, really? Yeah, I'm actually still debating on it because the reason I didn't get the Pro when I went and upgraded my phone was because they were out of stock. Okay. Until like November 4th or November 5th. It's the 28th. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I, I still have 14 days, which falls in line with them getting back in stock to go switch it out for that one. Is it and yeah. huh? You should get the pro. I should just get the. Yeah, you should just get the pro. Just get. The I know pro. me. Future me and Jenny were talking Future about proof. it. I know, right? Me and Jenny. So long. So freaking long. Me, me and Jenny were talking about treat it. Yourself. We were saying treat my. She didn't say that. You know, she don't care about me treating myself. <laughs> I do. Oh, thanks, Darren. You're a real one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But um, 
No, she was saying if you're going to pay for a new phone, might as well get the newest one, like the newest one. And I'm like, that's true. And the camera is going to be a bit better on that a one. A bit. It's got an extra lens. <laughs> yeah, it does. A bit. <laughs> and um, depth perception is way better as well. Yeah, the telephoto lens. Mm -hmm. And then when she said that, it made me think, well, should I just get the Max then? <laughs> the 12 Pro Max. And I'm like, but that's overkill. No. Overkill. And I'll tell you this. My phone is 6.5 inches. We both have uh -huh. big hands. I, we, can, we can handle these phones. But I miss the days of being able to reach across the screen with just my thumb. <laughs> Yeah, As I guess you're right. That does matter. Phone, I do not recommend you get that max because the max is actually max bigger, is actually bigger than, what than what I have. It's six point seven inches. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. it's it's almost, a tablet. it's almost a tablet. The nice. iPhone SE. Yeah, the SE is that. Not, I see is all. Uh, the SE is great. Uh, SE is great. It's a great phone. It's great. It's um. It's, um it's got all the power in the little compact the little four inches. It was the four inches. That's how big the screen is. Let's see. I can't remember. But the, the new SC looks, really looks really good. Hang on, my laptop still says it's not charging. Hang on. Yeah, no problem. Because I'm at like 13%. Product red, yeah. I wish they had the red for this color. They didn't? I didn't think I don't think they did. Did they? No, I don't know. I don't think they had it in black. stock. Gold, or was that just the trim? Black, gold. No, no, that sounds familiar. The, either the back was gold, or it was just the border. But the blue and the gold look really nice, and the the black looked pretty. Black is classic. But um. Blue. Oh, it was blue, black, green, and white. Yeah, the green looked okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess if the green was more like a the the army kind of green yeah i would have went for it All right, we're good. i don't Sorry. think I, yeah 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 if the if it, if it was more like the army kind of green i would have went for it i didn't like the it's, it was basically i don't know what color to call that i don't know I, that's the color i see on some girls fingernails every now and then <laughs> yeah yeah you, doing looking at girls fingernails? you know you gotta compliment them tell Jenny. If you don't, they they'll they'll get upset at you. All right, okay, <laughs> won't rat you out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it does look clean. It does look clean. Um, so what do you think, Isaiah? I think that's about it. Well, before we close out, close out. There are two other things I wanted to bring up. What's up? Tesla's full auto beta is out. Be careful on the roads because oh. there'll be some people who won't be touching wheel at all. Say that I saw two Teslas on the way here. Oh snap! So, See, <laughs> yeah, they look like they were pretty much in control though. So okay, that's yeah. good because I'm just people are really actually testing it out, and the fact that it's in beta, it's like, I mean, I guess someone has to do it, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The engineer. It's just crazy. Like it's crazy. It. <laughs> I know, but it's just, I don't know. In my mindset, it worries me that they're allowed or able to do it on roads yeah. with actual people, you know? In Houston traffic. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, you never know what another car is going to do. And that was, that's what, that is what really worries me about, yeah. you know, having people who aren't paying attention while driving. Yeah. So. I know it's safer, but if it was in most cars, then fine. But since it's not in most cars, it's like, ooh, it's a very limited thing with a lot of wild drivers out there. Yeah. Yeah. Tesla's not, I feel like Tesla's YouTube vids are a thing now. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, <clears> a lot of streamers. If you're a streamer, I mean, if you're a streamer, if you're a YouTube content creator, you get a Tesla, basically, yeah, just, yeah. just to make more content. I think MKBHD, he has a Tesla. <laughs> yes, he does. And no, I'm telling you, most of them do. MKHB, your average consumer. Um, yeah, I can see that, yeah. What's his name? The the other guy, the, the one who does finances that's been on YouTube a lot lately. I don't know. Uh, the Asian dude? Is he an Asian dude? No, yeah. no, no, no. I remember. 
I don't know, but a lot of them have Teslas. Almost all of them do. Oh, oh, Alpha Gaming Channel. I yeah. watch him a lot. He has a yeah, he has a Tesla. I thought it was. He McLaren. talks about streaming. I all this, uh, they all had McLarens and like uh, and Bugattis and stuff. <laughs> if they're a doctor as well, maybe. They gotta, or successful. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta you know gas up the Lambo somehow. Yeah. True. Zigzag, yeah, you're a but kid. you're a smart cookie. Who? Zigzag. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, cars are too safe now. They make us think that they are safe. That that they make us think they are safe, and we feel less inclined to pay attention." Yeah, which sucks because when I see memes about yeah, people sleeping <laughs> or playing Switch, it's insane. Yeah, I've seen people playing Switch and like the Teslas and stuff, like you know. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's insane. Yeah. But um, what was I say? Other than that, though, also RTX 3070s are out, much oh, cheaper out? than the 2080s, I believe. So yeah, RTX 3070. Yeah, if you can pick one up, pick one up, man. Better than a yeah for TI. five. Oh yeah, RTX they're, they're better than the 2080 Ti. So you know why not? And that's all that matters. If you can, you need to sell your RTX 2080 for the best price you can get and get a RTX 3070. That's such a minimal upgrade, though, isn't it? It is a minimal upgrade, but if you recently bought that 2080, you should have did it before these cards came out. Yeah. They still weren't on sale, though. They still weren't on sale. I don't think they were on sale. Oh, my bad. They're on sale on Thursday, tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go. Yeah, get those. Yeah. Get some. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, it is a minimum upgrade, but I just, you know, saving money, that that's that's um worth yeah. it. Worth the hassle of trying to get it. Okay. Well if only I was a PC gamer. <laughs> man. I love PCs, man. They're good. But yeah, I mean that's about it though. If you had anything else you wanted to bring up. Exactly. No, I think we can close out. All right. You want to say your goodbyes? Oh, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyone watching the stream, we're actually gonna do a Halloween stream. Short, not stream. We're gonna do a Halloween uh, episode of the podcast in fifteen minutes because I gotta eat. I'm hungry. Are you sure fifteen minutes? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe 30 okay. minutes. In 30 more minutes, we're going to do a Halloween episode of the podcast where we tell our scary gamer stories or, you know, Halloween themed episode, Halloween essentially. Themed. Should be great. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Just catch us uh, here on the channel in 30 more minutes. So we're at 845. Yeah, 845. Yeah. We'll be right back here. Yeah. But for those of you listening at home, uh, we'll have that podcast up the same day. Um,. Yeah, you can email us at playgencasts at gmail.com, Twitter at playgencasts, YouTube, twitch.tv slash playgencasts. We'll be doing streams on the channel pretty soon, both of us. Um, what else are we on? I think that's it. Yeah. Isaiah, anything you want to plug? Um, well, well, actually, if you're watching and you want to hear us uh, in the car or on um, oh, yeah, when you're on the go, you can always. Oh, there, there's our yeah, YouTube. YouTube channel. Play again. But you can also um, listen to us on Spotify. What what are the services Spot- that we have? Google Play. I, have to pull it up. I know Spotify, Google Play. Uh, we're not on Apple Podcasts. Anchor. Yet. Yeah, we're on Anchor. There's a few others. I don't know them all. I need to pull the app. Actually, I can pull it up right now on Anchor. Yeah. And while he does that, you guys can also watch me play games. I play almost three to four times a week now Um, on Twitch. uh, It's Isaiah underscore here. I-Z-A-Y-A underscore H-E-R-E. And uh, I like playing multiplayer games. So if you guys ever want to, like, join in and play with me, I'm definitely down with that, actually. So... Yeah, catch me on stream and uh, we can chat it up and play a game together. I don't know where to find this. Distribution, here we go. So yeah, we're on Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify. 
Apple Podcast coming soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying. I, I'm still trying. Uh, I don't know if I have to contact them or if I have to find another uh, hosting site to get us on there. But so far, Anchor is not the wave. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, you know, catch you back here shortly. And until then, we'll just play again. All right. Bye, guys.